Welcome to a new P-Shell demonstration, a TCL programming interface to Cradle. The whole live video was recorded in one shot and took about 6 minutes. Within this demo, we will set up P-Shell, connect to a running Cradle session, start a console, and create a worker application from scratch. For TCL you need only a code editor, but we show later a simple tool, to start faster, this may help to focus on TCL, no other software or any running server, with back and forth communication, is required. The worker will watch one specified folder, the worker will create step and DXF output from part and assembly files, Creo will start with no graphics and remote input, and stop automatically. The TCL worker code is available in the Clear's Wiki Worker section. See it live. Now. Creo is already running, and you see that the pshell environment exists as a zip file. First we extract the content. After unzip the pshell develop sandbox, we can start a batch to configure and create a new applications. If this app is started, it will check for a running Creo session and we'll set up required configuration. Please note the clock display in the title bar of the window. Immediately we can connect from this small application to Cradle. After connect some example code is provided and can be executed. Pressing the eval button provides a hello message in Cradle. The code in the text widget will create a parameter within each model in session. The same parameter name is later used in the worker application to extend the output file name. The value holds some versioning information, and is only created if not already exists. The number itself is random value, for demo purpose only. After this we start our console for a first practice test. The TCL console and a helper window for cut and paste some code, will appear. Now we load the package, and create a session object. After the object is created, we connect to the running Creo session. The pshell glob command without arguments and wildcards will just return all loaded models in Creo. Another example is the pshell body command. With this command, we have access to the body features in Creo. First we check which body is currently the default one. After that, we set a different body as the new default. Finally we refresh the model tree, to display the change in the model. Now this change to a body in Creo is visible for the user as well. Let's move the console window more in the hidden area, we need it later agent. Now we create a whole asynchronous application from scratch. For this we name the application export worker, and for the app tag we use worker. Now unpick the create button, a complete new app is created from scratch, by using editable templates. The app will be started immediately, and will have its own batch and executable name for start. The app is capable to connect or start Creo from the beginning. A new application root folder in our sandbox, and some subfolder are created, and of course, source code files for initialization, the main function, the window creation and two sample tasks. A debug window and an application window will appear, see the title bar for the app name. The code from the wiki, in the worker section, is already in my local folder. To run, we replace the code after the worker app had been created. The worker code has about 600 lines, including debug, comments and empty lines. The code will use the same model parameter, as it was used in the connection test before. The debug windows has two buttons, one to run the main function, and one to refresh your application window, before a source to run main call, will have no effect. After replace our main TCL code, 
We eval updated the code and call the main routine again. Now the our new code is running we'll wait for Crayo files created in specified folder. The main and the two subfolders for export and import are created within our main routine. The worker is now waiting for new arrivals of Crayo parts or assembly files in the export folder. For testing, we change back to our console. For the active assembly, we get a Crayo backup. For the backup folder we specify the watched folder. The file command is used for this backup operation. Just change our folder, to see the arrivals, in our watch folder. The worker app will recognize this and start to prepare the output queue. After the worker is idle, the work will wait some seconds. Now worker will start Crayo without graphics and will use remote input. The DXF and step folder are created by the worker. After Crayo is automatically started, it will open each file from the export folder and creates the files in the output folder by the Jikvin subtype. For part files, we create DXF file and a step file. For assemblies we create a step file only. We change to this folder, to see that the requested output files are generated. After the worker is idle, Crayo will be stopped, no more license lock by the worker is now in use. Finally we open the created step file for the main assembly in Crayo. That's it. Thank you for watching.